Hey folks, Phil Zito here, and welcome to day seven of the BAS Bootcamp. Over the next couple days, we are going to look at some videos from our BAS Startup and Checkout course. These aren't going to be the complete videos from our BAS Startup and Checkout course, but these are going to be little snippets of it. This is going to help you to better understand how to go and wire up different inputs and outputs. So you're going to see kind of how we approach it in our BAS startup and checkout course. Hopefully this will give you an idea of how to begin wiring up these inputs and outputs. Uh, enjoy this video and the next couple videos. And as always, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. So the first thing we want to do is to make sure that our jumper is set to resistance. We can see our jumper right here and we can see it's set to R, it's set to resistance. That is going to let us use this as a digital input. Now as we look at UI1 common and UI2 in common, we can see that we are using red on the input and black on the output. That's the common standard to use red for our input and black for our common. We can see we're doing the same thing on UI1 common, UI2 common. We're doing the same thing. UI1 is going to be our normally open set of contacts and UI2 is going to be our normally closed set of contacts. Now, if you recall from earlier, we talked about the IDEC relay and had it coil across 10 and 11 or 10 and 14, if I can read correctly. I believe that may be 10 and 14, it may be 10 and 11. I can't see it from here. But we can see right here, we have our two legs. We have contact for our power coming in and for our common leaving, our two conductors rather, not two legs. And if I were to meter this, it would be 24 volts and it's energizing the coil. Now our normally open circuit is one to nine. And we can see one right here with our entering wire and nine right here, which is our leaving wire. Our leaving wire is always going to be at the bottom. And the top right here is going to be for our different contacts. We have our normally open or normally closed rather. And we have our normally open five to nine and one to nine. Now this is what's known as a single pole, our pole being our coil, double throw, meaning our contacts have a normally closed contact and normally open. Now we're going to go look at what this looks like in the actual controller. So now we are logged into the controller. We have our digital output set up at DO1, and you can see I have a writable Boolean going to this digital output. Once again, if any of this is unfamiliar to you, you don't know what Booleans are, you don't know what writables versus non-writables, constants, writables, inputs, outputs, all of that jazz, I can't recommend enough that you take our programming course. It will teach you everything you need to know about working with the wire sheet, working with programming, graphical logic blocks, the programming process, design patterns, you really should invest in it. That being said, we have a writable Boolean going to our DO. Now you may hear the click in the background. I've got pretty good noise canceling. You may not. We're going to set this to true. And you just heard that, hopefully. You heard the DO go on. You should notice that our normally open is now set to true and our normally close is now set to false because the circuit is completed for the normally open and the circuit is no longer completed for the normally closed. And we see we're using input type digital for both of these. Now I can go right here once again, set this to false. Relay turns off. And now we see our normally open is false and our normally closed is true. That is how dry contacts work. That is how you wire them up. And this is what they look like inside of the controller software. Now, as you can see on UI3 right here, we have our leads from our sensor terminated into the terminal block. Now, something you need to be careful when dealing with temperature sensors or just most inputs in general, 
If you are using the wire directly like we are because we have a long spool of wire, you can kind of see it right here, then typically the wire will be very thin and you can see it's a very thin wire compared to this much thicker wire over here. When doing that, the tendency is to tighten these terminal blocks down so that it really crimps down on the wire. But when you're using a very thin wire, you want to be careful about doing that because that can actually go and cause you to actually snip that wire and cause that wire to break. So it's kind of a delicate art of tightening it down to where you start to feel resistance, give it a little tug, make sure that it's not coming out, and then maybe tighten it down just a little bit more and then you're good to go. All right, so here we are gonna be looking at how we actually wired up our zero to 10 volt DC sensor. So if you recall, we had three wires that we had to wire up. Let's zoom in on those right here. You can see that we have our input, our common, and our hot wires right here. Now our hot wire, typically we would use a three conductor wire, but I didn't have any three conductor wire in the shop. So we simply used two two conductor pairs and then we went and took one of the two conductor pairs and trimmed a single conductor back. But what we can see is we have the hot connected down to the transformers hot right there. You can see we have two hots plugged into the transformer. Then we can see that we have our common and our common and our input, common being black, input being red, common being black, input being red. We can see that on our controller, those are wired to the input and input common on our actual controller. Here we see our hot input right here and our common right there. We can also see that we have our jumper set to voltage. Now what we're going to do is we're going to back up, we're gonna display the wiring diagram, and then we're going to look at this control board with the wiring diagram superimposed to the right and see if we can make sense of it. In the upper right hand corner, you can see the wiring diagram. Now, if you're watching this on a phone or a small screen, you may need a bigger screen. Don't worry, we printed out or we provided a PDF copy of the wiring diagram that you can print out. But if you have a big enough screen, feel free to follow along. You will see how the wiring diagram is outlining the actual wires. We can see the input we can see the common or ground as it's called and we can see the hot or power and we can see how those are connected and then we can see it reflected on our wiring setup here on the control board okay so how many of you are ready to move in to actually configuring the software i don't know about you but my goodness feels like we have been spending a lot of time on wiring. Now, granted, you do wire stuff out in the field, but one thing I wanna let you know is while all of this wiring stuff is important, and it definitely is, I want you to realize that there is so much more beyond wiring. This is just essentially a gate that you need to pass through in order to get to the configuration, to the setup, to the programming, to the system integration. If you wanna be one of those people who takes your skills to the next level and is earning six figures doing controls, you have to pass through this gate. So I can tell you if I, as the instructor, am starting to feel how this is, is just, it's a lot to take in, then I know that you as the student are probably feeling that as well. And I want you to know that that's normal that's okay and stick with us we've got one more module where we're gonna be looking at the wiring again for outputs but once we're through that we're gonna dive right into IT and start going through all of the setup and config the really really in my opinion fun stuff 
So what are we looking at here? Let's go and zoom in just a bit. So we can see that we have our inputs wired like previously. We have our controller or our sensor rather set up here like previously. And we've got our incoming power from our transformer. We don't have to connect the common because the common is shared from the controller internally. Now, one of the students asked, hey, did you drop your controller? Why is the cover off? Well, no, the controller was not dropped. The cover is off to remind us that we have to set our jumpers to make sure that we are properly going and setting our inputs in order to process what we're trying to do here. Now remember, and I'm not going to demonstrate it here, in order to sense current, actually, you know what? We will demonstrate it here. I'm going to go pause the video and I'm going to grab the multimeter. Okay, we're back. Do you notice how there is no power now at the sensor? The reason for that is because we disconnected the power. So we're going to go here, get our lead in there, right there. And that is how we would go and complete this. Actually, let me make sure our lead is going in the right spot. Yep, it is. So we would complete the circuit by going and interrupting it. That's what we would do in order to sense current. Let me make sure I've actually got my meter turned on. That usually helps. And so I can see my milliamp reading right here. And if I break it, so let me show you all that. So you can see. So you should be able to see the meter. And we've got our milliamp reading. You can see that. All right. So with that, we're going to go and we're actually going to look at the controller. And you can see why most folks use clamps and don't use the meter like I do, because that is a pain in the butt to do, to actually go and measure in series. And also it takes the sensor off. All right, folks, thanks for watching today's video. And if you have any questions about inputs, definitely reach out. And like I said, these videos are from our startup and checkout course. Feel free to check that out if you want to. I'll post that in the description or comments below. Also, tomorrow we will be going through outputs. So we'll start to take a look at how to wire up outputs. As always, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out and let us know. Thanks a ton and take care.